Hello there, beauty. It's your girl, Anis Marie here, and today, y'all, and, uh, and today, and for this video, we are going to be doing my monthly favorite for September, and I always feel weird when I film a lot of videos in one day because I'm like, they're going to see me wearing like the same thing in all of my videos, like, is that annoying to you guys? And I, I mean, I really personally don't care because like I feel like I said, sometimes I don't, I don't, I've been not having time to film. So it's like when I have a time to film, I like, I film like four videos in a day. So I don't know if it annoys anybody out there. It's just, it's just kind of weird to me. I'm just like, but anyways, okay, I'm, I'm filming for you guys. <laughs> so anyways, let's get on to the video. This video is going to be about my monthly favorites for the my favorite, my monthly phase for September. Not too many, but enough. Okay, and I have, uh, let's see, some over here. So let me get this real quick. Okay. So first thing first, we're going to start with what I have in my hand here automatically. So let's start with this one here. And this is the Coconut Passion Perfume from Victoria's Secret. Now, you guys know I love everything coconut, vanilla, warm flavored. I just, warm scented, sorry. I just love it. And this here is just heaven. Um, if you guys know my, um, whoo. If you only have smell of vision, but it's just it's really soft and warm, and it's just that mix of you know vanilla and coconut together. It's it's just the best. And I got mine five for thirty dollars. I've gotten some other ones, but um yeah, so that's where I, I got this from Victoria's Secret, and the packaging is really cute, and I like these because I can just throw them in my purse, they're purse size, and I can just go and have it on me all day, every day. And so, um, yeah, I just like vanilla flavored, but vanilla scented items, coconut scent scented items. Anything that smells like coconut or vanilla, it gets me. And so that is one of my all-time favorite perfumes for this month. The next two things I'm going to talk about are nail polishes. And you guys know I said, oops, you guys know I said before that I have been um, into nudes and mauves. So... Lately, I have been rocking these two nail polishes, and these are by NYC, and they were $1.99 at CVS. This color is in Fashion Safari. It's just a really nudey color, but it's not like, it's like a beige kind of color, but it's kind of like a nude beige, and it looks really, really pretty on the nails. I don't have any nail polish on now because I'm giving my nails a rest, but it's a really pretty color. And the next color I got was Brownstone, which I was kind of concerned about because I wasn't too sure if I was going to like it or not, but I love it. It just looks so nice and warm on the nails, and yeah. So those are the two nail polishes that I'm using now, and I most likely will be using them currently into next month as well because I just love the nudes right now. And then the next thing that I'm going to talk about is the Design Essentials Natural Honey and Shea Edge Tamer. Now, I like this stuff because the only reason why I like it, though, is because it doesn't leave that residue on my edges like edge control does. Does anybody else have that issue? When I use, I think, too much of it, it starts to have, like, this cakey buildup in which I can't stand. And because my hair is fine and my baby hairs are kind of are blonde in color... It sticks to that and then it, my hair look, ends up looking like ashy around the front portion so I just I don't it just doesn't really go with it but this here doesn't seem to do that it does have a little of an after feel but it's just a soft and you can still feel a little bit of a residue but it's not like the edge control so this has been something that I've been, that I have been grabbing every day to tame my edges now the last couple of things that I want to talk about are let's see are the you guys already know i shouldn't even have to even talk about these but you guys are ready to know that i love the nyx soft lip matte creams and i got two new additions to my family yes i did the first color that i got was stockholm 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 i don't know if that's how you pronounce it but i saw omg is victoria using this color in one of her tutorials and i was like that's a pretty nude i can rock with that and this is what it looks like here. Such a pretty, pretty new color. And I like to layer this over lip liners as well. But 
these colors go really well especially when you layer them over other colors and they're matte they just look amazing and um so i like this and i'm into the nude so this is so this is really good for a nude and you guys already know how i feel about these like i don't even have to really say much and then the next color that i got was san paulo it looks like this and oh it's such a pretty pink it is to die for pink i love it and that is that right there it is such a pretty pretty pink now the last couple of things i'm going to talk about our lip liners and then that is it for this video our lip liners okay and these are three let me see oh there's one missing i have one missing but it's it's um mauve by nyx i believe it's called mauve and it's by nyx if not another um another company but anyways so with these here these have been like my three go-to nude lip liners for this month the first one i'm going to talk about is this light brown by opera i never heard of this brand before i randomly picked it up in my beauty supply store because i was looking for a brown lip liner and a um, funny thing too is that these are not lip liners these are eye pencils but i could not find a brown lip liner so i just went with an eyeliner they all are the same thing right right so and this is by the brand opera and that's what it looks like. It's just a really light tubby brown. And I use these for my lips. But I mean I can also use them for my eyes as well if I choose to. And then the next color I'm going to talk about is by the same brand Opera. And it is a dark brown. And this is the one that I have been using. Or it's just a regular brown, sorry. This is the one that I have been using the most. It looks like that. And this is the one that yeah, I've been grabbing the most to use for my lips. And then this last one is Natural by NYX natural binding so as you guys can see by my hand i am really into like the mauves the taupes the nudes the browns right now um and so that's what i've been like gearing towards and i have been just layering them and playing with them so yeah that is my monthly favorite for the month of september little short little short get to the point um yeah so anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure to rate comment subscribe all that fun stuff and if you want to see how to get this makeup tutorial here i will link it somewhere on this video here if not if i don't drop it i don't know if i'm gonna um upload this video this monday or next monday so if you don't see it here on the sidelines it won't be up until next Monday. So, um, and if you see it on the sidelines, it's already up. So go check it out. <laughs> Anyways, I will talk to you guys. And then hopefully you guys enjoy it. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in a later video. 